Okay guys, I'm going to take you through our website and show you how to sign in to your profile so you can reserve classes and manage your membership profile. We're going to start by being on our website, crossfit-alhambra.com. You'll notice, uh, you know, the big header page. Uh, in the menu bar, we have a new uh, link called Sign In. When you click that, it'll take you to the front desk uh, sign in page, which is crossfitalhambra.frontdesk.com. From there, you can sign in using your email and password. I'm going to use my example profile. Click the sign in, and I'm on my dashboard. So when you look at your dashboard, there's a lot of things you can do. You can see on the right column here, uh, notifications. They'll tell you, you know, whether you confirmed your attendance or not for anything. Uh, plans and passes. You can uh, register for events or seminars there. Uh, payment methods. This is going to be an important one. Every one of you guys can go onto your individual profiles and add your preferred credit card to be used uh, to debit your membership. We have to do that in order to bill you, so go ahead and do that when you get this uh, get done with this video. Uh, you can subscribe to the calendar so you can see when, all, when our classes are going on and you can get that linked in with your uh, Apple calendar, I, get, I believe, on your iPhones. Uh, photos, you can input, input photos into your profile. I put this little funny one of Rick James, but uh, feel free to keep it PG and put a photo that will definitely help us keep a name with a face. Um, Past visits, you can check your attendance. Paid bills, you can see your receipts if you need to get reimbursements and anything else like that. Upcoming billing uh, payments that are due, you know, for your next bill each month, we're doing everything billing on the first week of the month, so you'll know to expect it then, but you can get your exact dates there. Um, upcoming schedule, mine's blank right now because I haven't reserved any classes, but we will do that in a second. And then your membership, you can. Uh, handle everything through here including contacting me or the coaches for any information. Let's go ahead and try to uh, book a class on our schedule. So if you scroll up to the top menu bar you'll see schedule. Go ahead and click that link and it'll take you to our weekly schedule. Now you can list it by uh, view it by list or by month. I prefer to view it this way. You also have the option to uh, change this so that the times will go horizontal and the dates will go vertical but I kind of prefer this one so let's say uh, I'm looking at next week's schedule and I want to sign up uh, for a class you can see each class during the day that we offer what coach is coaching that class and uh, if anybody else has already reserved something since this is next week nobody's done that yet so I'm gonna say that I want to take Friday October 16th at 6 a.m. with Mike Taylor I'm gonna hit the Hit that button, there will be an enroll button. Click that, it tells me exactly what needs to go on. There's eight spaces remaining. Click the enroll, it'll take me to my finish page where I can confirm that. Uh, it does give you some advice, you know, in case of last minute cancellations for reserved spots, please contact us. But you do have within an hour of the actual class to cancel um, your, your space in that class. I would suggest though that if it is a 5 a.m. class, 6 a.m. or a uh, 6.30 p.m. that you call the gym directly uh, as well so that the coach isn't hanging around just in case you might be the only one signed up for that class. Anyways, I'm going to go back onto this, push confirm, and that's going to put the schedule, uh, the class schedule on my uh, profile. Now everything's good. All I have to do is show up on October 16th at 6 a.m. for Mike's class and check in at the front desk and it'll credit that one towards my membership. Um, if I need to cancel it, I can go back onto the schedule, click that, and it says that there cancel registration for class. I would still also suggest that you give a follow-up phone call to that. But what that basically does is it gets me there, it takes me off there. When you look at notifications, now I've done several examples of this practicing, but it says, I registered for a class on October 16th at 6 a.m., and then I removed myself from the class, um, you know, because I couldn't make it. So if you have to do those, go ahead and do those. Other than that, you know, go ahead and feel free to peruse around your schedule, get your uh, profile, get to know it. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, by all means, you can uh, 
contact me directly at the office or come see me during class. And uh, yeah, let's get you all set up and I'll see you guys in class.